Hello everybody, welcome back to Blake Sten. So this is my 1996 Land Rover Defender 300 TDI. Uh, everyone seems quite interested in this not on the channel. Um, so what it is, it's a Defender 90 pickup or truck cab. And I fitted this canvas back to it. Now this canvas back is not for Defender, I've concluded, because it doesn't fit right. Um, but it does actually fit of sorts. I think it's off a series three anyway um what the plan i was going to do today was just a quick sunday afternoon video i need to sort this out properly so you can see i've got it held up with bits of baler twine uh i need to do something a bit more permanent with it so um yeah uh, i also need to get the spare wheel mounted on the spare wheel bracket that isn't the actual spare wheel for the land rover that's the spare wheel off my trailer which also fits the land rover because the spare wheel i came with won't hold any air, I think the valve stem is gone. So lots of little jobs to do, but they're all sort of connected. So um, yeah, join me in the back of a Land Rover while I sort this out. So this is one of the problems that I have. The back fills up with water. See the water moving around there. I've actually, so there's a gap here. And um, there should be like a frame or something around it. But as I say, it's not the right canopy anyway. Uh, what I've actually been using is a bit of household guttering. And I've just wedged it up in that gap. It sort of does the job, but it's not ideal. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mop this all out. And then I need to get on and replace this rope here. So this rope was too short or was designed to fit onto something which I don't have. So I'm actually going to replace that with bungee cord. So I bought uh, 25 metres of bungee cord off Amazon. I should have really bought five meters because this thing stretches to five times its length and then that comes with its own little hooks so you just tie a knot and put them on so i'll replace that rope with bungee cord so i've re-threaded the rope with a bungee cord that goes all the way around and i'm pulling it tight now so now i need to cut this and put another hook on the end which is a two-handed operation that's all fitted now, nice and tight, or as tight as I can get it. Um, yeah, seems fine. So the next job I want to do is fit the rear wheel, or the spare wheel. Um, so there's a little bracket here, and this is what did come out of there, and then has a wheel nut on. That wheel nut is completely seized on. I've managed to turn it a tiny bit, i put heat on it, I've soaked it in oil, it's just not plain ball. So the actual tang on the end snapped off. So I welded that tang onto a bolt and made my own. You can buy them, but I just thought I'd make my own. I also drilled a hole in the end as well. So I could put a lock, locking device on a padlock or a um, split pin or something like that. So, so that goes in there. There's a bracket goes on and it mounts a spare wheel. So I'll do that now. So I've put that little spigot on now, I have made one, now it's just a case of putting on the bracket, I think it goes a bit like that, and then tightening up the knot. Don't want that too tight because I've got to be able to get it off. I've got tools in here, but say so I will put the right wheel in when uh, when I get it fixed. Next item I want to address is these middle hoops. So on a proper Defender setup, you don't actually have a full hoop. You have basically from that bit onwards and connects to these side pieces. These side pieces I didn't have it also, so I've made these myself just using some uh, plastic electrical conduit. They will get replaced with something metallic in the future, but we'll do for now. So yeah, you don't have a middle hoop, so there's no holes for us to connect onto. So I've just uh, lashed it on there, um, and it's been surprisingly solid actually. I mean, as I'm shaking that, the whole land rubber shaking. Um, but it's not a great solution, so I'm going to see if I've got some self-tapping set screws or uh, something I can bolt that on with. So I've put a self-tapping screw in there, and I've put another one over here. I've just put the two in for now, 
so there isn't any on the sort of front side of that bracket because they didn't have any. I think those ones were salvaged from a Toyota MR2 door. So next job I want to do, I'll just pull the back down. Um, this rope is what sort of keeps the, the back taut. So it's sort of tied up at one end and has a loop on the other. And it's quite a faff to uh, undo it all the time to get in the back. So bungee cord again, I'll replace that with bungee cord and uh, yeah, we'll see how it works. There we are, that's with the bungee cord on the back. So now we should be fairly fast to get in, undo this, which is quite tricky to do with one hand, undo the hook. And then come around here, do the same, undo the hook. Just caught up there on the uh, tab. Unhook, unhook, unhook. And there we are, we can get in. So, yeah, that seems uh, a lot better than it was before with the rope and I'm to tie knot. So, uh, let's try putting it back together and see how it goes. And there we are, all, all back together. I think, if anything, I've probably got this bungee cord a little too tight. Um, it's got a bit of give in it, but. Yeah, it's just a bit too tight, so I may I may be tempted to remake that in the future. I'll see if it stretches over time first. Um, yeah, I was going to try and run a bit of bungee cord through here as well. So there's a, there's a channel there, and I think that would like pull around and pull this back up, but I just can't thread it. Uh, I've tried actually attaching it to a tape measure and feeding it through because I needed something rigid but flexible you know what I mean and yeah it wasn't having it so uh, I don't think it's too bad though so I've never had it in before and I've been up to 60 mile an hour with this and it hasn't blown off so we'll call that a win and that is that as I say so I think I'll leave it there it's getting a bit cold to be out here now uh, doesn't fit perfectly but it does sort of <laughs> As it gets wet, it sort of sags a bit, then dries out, it goes taut again, and it's obviously got some age to it as well, but I really like the way it looks. Um, this is a working vehicle and has been all of its life, and it's just got a nice sort of rustic look to it, and uh, actually makes it a bit more practical too. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick video. There will be more videos of this Defender on the channel. It needs a new cross member later this year for the next MOT. It also needs a new radiator a bit more sooner than that, like now, because it's pouring out the bottom. Um, so there'll be videos of that coming up. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, click the like button. Please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified when all the new videos go live. Uh, the more subscribers I have, the more features YouTube unlocks for me, which means the better content I can deliver to you. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.